I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. A business meeting, of a sort at least. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. I'm sure we have room for you on the ship, Walter. Might be cramped compared to what you're used to, but it'll get you there. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. There's something I need to talk to you about. I am at your service, Captain. Now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. That's... Distressing, but to be expected, I suppose. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? Hmm. I know you're simply trying to brush this off with humor, but you really should act more concerned. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. It's a possibility I've considered, but I'm not 100% convinced. The only thing we can be certain of is that the technology we've encountered points to beings that live outside the settled systems. Hmm. Perhaps. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. Oh, believe me, this is positively exhilarating. Think about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? somewhere. Yes, exactly. Now you understand why it's imperative that we solve this puzzle. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery, the pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this, whatever it is, unharmed. Well, yes, of course you are. I was speaking of the power you've acquired. Uh, this is all scientifically speaking, of course. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to help you every step of the way.
nice to be an actuary. They drive a pretty hard bargain for new recruits. I certainly couldn't say no. No, I'm not feeling that bad. There are a few injuries that can't be addressed here. If you walk in, you will almost assuredly walk out. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. How can I help? You don't need me for anything. You look to be in better health than I am. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. You're an empath. Very few people have this gift, or curse, depending on how you look at it. There have been uh, some clinical trials of a regimen that can suppress this talent permanently. It's perfectly safe, assuming you're interested. Check all the time you need. It's a big decision. It's taken weeks of talking together. So I got some last spaceship, but then I realized my tank's probably I'm stuck. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis. That is convenient, but riding right after eating can give you stomach aches. Every time I see that statue, I feel a little bit more. Can't really explain why, but I do. You didn't hear this from me. It's good to be home, right? Okay, hand me. Hey, you might want this.
they shouldn't have traded. That we traded our top player for two mediocre ones. Who makes that kind of deal? I, 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 I can't talk about it. I'm getting all worked up. We'll get through it together, buddy. on this ball. forgotten I picked it up for you. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. I almost didn't pick it up, but then I thought you might have a good use for it. Whew, glad I did. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. Smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Chasm Bass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. See that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of Neon's energy. Some kind of checkpoint ahead. Let's let them do their job so we can move along. Don't move, Nesha! What the hell is this about? Cut the act. Snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and move. Tevin the Astro? Not really my cup of tea, as it were. I'll follow your lead. Back off. That's an order, not a suggestion. Benjamin Bayou's Tower. It's big, all right. Not sure what else. <laughs> the Astro Lounge spared no expense with their marketing, huh? Star Yard of the Future. This is where quality ships are made. And I don't just say that because it's Stroud's business. It's all right. It's just true. Short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know me, Sistro? You are so lucky. Walter. Issa. 
Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Who was it again, Walter? The founder of Constellation? Sebastian Banks. His final address before he disappeared. Second it. Your fans are calling you, Walter. I am not going to be forced into embarrassment in my own office. The answer is no. Talk to him about it later. Once he cools down, he'll be all ears. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now I must point out the obvious. The Astral Lounge. Huh? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Aurora on hand for your enjoyment. Now, you're new here, aren't you? 
Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state-of-the-art. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Well, perhaps something could be arranged. Sorry, but... I can't. Look, I'd like to help, but... Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Come back soon. What's up? If you're wondering what that smell is, it's neon. You know what you're doing with these systems. This place is insane! Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time.
Oh, I don't have a problem with his place. My problem is Siegert himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon's security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Siegert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. I mean, it might be okay. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep Crate 1. Let me write down the unit for you. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset. But Administrator Bayou came by. Max, got those two. doing this and getting mixed up with the gangs. Borealis, you know, the DJ? Well, oh, she's moping around because she lost something important. Save it for someone who gives a damn. Any luck out there? Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you.
stay out of trouble or we'll have a problem. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. I was really hoping for a message written in invisible ink, but this will have to suffice. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Hi! Having fun? The music is amazing! What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Hey! You wanna dance? I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands and we're not dead. How does that sound? This'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Take it easy. I'm not gonna say this twice. Get the hell away from me. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite, almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. to assume that briefcase has hey, our item strange. of interest? Let's chat yeah, sometime, here okay? it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... 
All right, you win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Well done. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Slayton is a man of considerable resources. Hmm. Sending armed men into the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Asa. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters... The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. goes long again, my girl's gonna kill me. Take a break. Let's chat. Let's get out there and do something new today, shall we? Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. I hear you. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting all day. It's ridiculous. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on.
That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork.
You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. the best time. I need to talk with you later. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> you have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. Hmm. You do make a bold point, but that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. 
We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes, I'm beginning to see the opportunity. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then we will handle the rest. Well, so be it. He knew the risk. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. Hey, no Captain, sense in more violence. Can I talk with you for a bit? We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. you damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Slayton took it all, probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that nonsense. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I... Thank you. You're welcome. But if I were you, I wouldn't expect leniency around here after this. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time Dusty! To go. Let's talk to Dusty! The Let's talk! I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. It's good to be part of a team, isn't it? To be part of something so much bigger than any one of us. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. And that's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. I'm guessing gourmet chunks days are out of the question then. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just joking. Constellation is so much more than that. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities, and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him. I suppose. That's right. We can't know the consequences of the choices we never made, and anything beyond that is imagination alone. But for the choices we made, it feels just a bit closer, doesn't it? Urban's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Yeah, don't worry. Logically, I know I should be over it. But I'm not, and it's gotten worse lately. 
I've ignored my feelings about Irvin's death since it happened. It's time for me to confront it. I'm just fortunate that Constellation has been a supporting home for me since Irvin died. I mean, where else would I get to dodge space pirates and discover new planets? On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. What if we leave a few things here and make a second trip? Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Have a nice day. I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act. Range of cosmetic and biological exploits. We'll be here when you're ready. Yeah, you know, the way you handle things, not bad, not bad. A deal with a man who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Way easier than retrieving an artifact from a mine that's about to get raided by pirates. But I feel like we made more friends the other way. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Hey, Dad. Want to hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. Do you I just read something? about them. Let's talk more about the cool, launch. Huh? Well, sounds exciting. Let's hear it. Until next time. Okay. It's called Space. <laughs> space is cold and dark. Starships fly there like comets, carrying us home. Not bad. Hey, will you write it down so I can carry a copy with me? I'll okay, copy down. Stay here. You know, <laughs> I still don't know how you lost that picture of Nibbles the comedy. Much. We are the Starborn, and you 
are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Unworthy? Get right out of here with that nonsense. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on! Hard to right. Back to the lodge first, then review the data second. Then Starboard. Never heard of them. <laughs> 